Over the past few years, we've seen temperatures grow more extreme here in Southern California and around the world. The hots are much hotter, and the effects can be deadly. According to the EPA, as many as 1,300 Americans die from extreme heat or related issues. At the half tonight, as Parker Collins shows us, there's a local nonprofit that's working to upgrade homes to help people weather the heat, and it's doing that for free. You'll remember that terrible heat wave we had over the summer, right? It lasted for what seemed like forever, and it pushed our state's power grid to the absolute limit. And now we're experiencing some very chilly overnights and mornings. Well, certain homes were not built with these new highs and lows in mind, and making the adequate preparations can be very expensive. Her kids are grown, but Celia Melindres still cooks enough tamales for a big family. Ever since her husband passed away, though, she's lived alone in this mobile home. Well, not totally alone. She's got Chiquita. Chiquita, Chiquita. Es amigo de la mami. After decades of difficult factory labor, household maintenance has gotten harder. And without regular upkeep, things break. So she's been going without air conditioning and heating, despite temperatures growing more and more extreme. Nobody has ever bothered me, says Celia, so I feel safe opening all my doors and windows. Celia is a lot like Moses Post's grandma, who also lived in a small space without temperature controls. She's part of the reason he became a weatherization home assessor. Through the nonprofit Community Action Partnership, OC, his job is to upgrade homes. Today he's checking to make sure Celia's brand new HVAC system is working. $10,000 worth of free stuff that would have been unattainable on her fixed income. There is some stigma to it, um, especially in areas that seem like they would be better off. Once anyone, for instance, loses their job or just can't keep up because they're on Social Security, they feel like they are ashamed to apply. She may be a homeowner, but she still pays rent for the lot, which has been increasing along with everything else. Utility bills are something CEO Gregory Scott says Cap OC can help with. I also know what it's like for my mom to make a decision on how much heat we can use. Um, I know it's like to, for her to choose between paying utility bills or you know paying for food. Celia is used to doing things for herself, from cooking to even sewing her own curtains. But she's glad she asked for help this time. Estoy feliz. I am really happy with the heater, the air conditioning, and now more with the refrigerator because I'm able to use it. Because not only is she safer and more comfortable at home, she also has somewhere to put the leftovers, her new refrigerator. It's estimated around 15,000 homes have been weatherized and upgraded through this Healthy Homes program. The funding they rely on is taxpayer money, so they can't spend it unless qualified people apply. And they've got plenty more capacity to do more of this work. You can go to CAP.